Hiya and welcome to Hell of a Cake and today I'll be showing you how to do a miniature David Austin rose. In this tutorial you will be using my cutters from the full size David Austin rose video. Wow, two different roses from one set of cutters purchased from hellofacake.com. Also, all the products throughout the tutorial will be listed in the description box below. Take a 5cm poly ball and cut it in half. Pick up two 22 gauge wire and place it through the poly ball. Turn the ball over and twist and turn the wire making sure that it's really tight so the ball doesn't move. I like to place the florist tape on first so you have less to do at the end. As you can see I've mixed some pink sugar paste and a tiny amount of brown but you can use whatever colour you want. By mixing a tiny amount of brown to your sugar paste it'll give you a lovely vintage look. Using the second one in of your scone cutter cut out two circles and apply it to the poly ball using your edible glue. This is done in early preparation for attaching the inner and outer petals to make it more easier when you're sticking the petals down. Now that your flower paste is really really thin, cut out your flowers using the heart flower plunger cutter. To get amazing elegant looking petals, make sure you thin them out with the frilling stick. With the cornflower on your fingers, scrunch and ruffle the petals up. The cornflower will stop the petals from sticking to your fingers. As you can see I'm just sticking the ruffles on with the edible glue to make it look pretty on top. Using three of my premium cutters from the pack Start off with the smallest cutter and cut out 8 petals. Little reminder, make sure that you roll out your flower paste really really thin. The thinner it is, the more elegant it will look. As you can see I'm using the frill tool around the edges to thin them out. This makes the petals look more elegant when finished. To obtain the petal veins, simply run your veining tool over the petals. This will give a tiny groove so it will look better when you're dusting. Frill up the edges once more before placing in the apple tray to keep a nice curve whilst drying off. With the second cutter, cut out another 8 petals and repeat the same process as the first set of petals. Don't forget to set aside the petals in the apple tray just to hold the curve whilst they dry off. This time I'm cutting out 7 petals with the last cutter. Thin and vein the edges of your 7 petals. With a cocktail stick, tightly roll the two top edges of the heart to obtain a more lovely realistic rose petal. Then just place them in the apple tree again to dry off. We 
With the first outer petal leaves, apply the glue to the V point of each petal. Apply the first petal to your flower, then slot each individual one in around the flower, remembering to carefully peel back the last one fitted, aiming to set them all at the same height. Cup the fitted flower to get the desired look. Taking the second tray of petals, repeat the glue process, fit to the flowers using the same method as before. With the final tray of petals, do exactly the same as before. And here we have the finished miniature David Austin Rose. Just remember, it's more than just a cake. If you're interested in more designs, make sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Until next time.